Hey everybody, it's Elisa with Momtastic Life and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, thank you for joining and welcome for your first time. I'm so happy to have you here. So today's video is another grocery haul. But I have to say, before we get into groceries and food, I have to tell you that it is the middle of October right now. It is literally 90, I think it's 94 degrees outside. <sighs> Where is fall, people? I know, I've said it before, I'm still waiting. But um, okay, I digress. Moving forward. <laughs> It is an October day. I just came back from the grocery store. My bill was considerably less this week. Yay! But I think it's because I bought less items. There were fewer items to pick up. There were a few things that I didn't need. So, um, but I'm always excited when that happens. So, our grand total today was $210. But the receipt doesn't even fit in the camera. Okay, maybe this way. There it goes. <laughs> $210. And that is after the um, grocery card discount. And my discount today was $68? $58. So that's pretty good. $58 off, $210 total, which means before the discount, it would have been $268. So I am happy with those results. So we will turn around and take a look what's on my canner, counter, canner, counter. Look, we'll look behind me, okay? <laughs> it's considerably less than, than I seem to have um, on many weeks, but it will take care of all of our needs this week. So let's turn around and take a peek. All right, guys, so here is a quick overview of the day's purchases. Um, Lots of stuff, lots of non-food items today. It just worked out that way. So let's start over here with our usuals, with our ice water. I got three of the coconut pineapples, one of the classic lemonade, one of the peach nectarine, one of the grape raspberry, and Mason's favorite, one of the black raspberry. And next over here, okay, is this an issue? Is this an issue for some people? Eggnog. Oh, and I just realized it said low, <laughs> low fat. Mason's head just perked up. He loves eggnog. I did not mean to buy low fat, but um, it is probably better for my bottom line personally. <laughs> and I'm sure it is just as delicious. This is an eggnog house. I will be buying eggnog. Well, today was the first day they had like a non-flavored normal sort of eggnog. So I will be buying eggnog from today until they stop selling it, which is the end of the year probably. And um, both Hubby and Mason love eggnog and it goes. And I like it too, but I don't drink it as often. Uh, here we have all four of our freedoms. Vodka. What are our four freedoms? This is what I really want to know. What the heck are they actually talking about? Uh, moving on, let's take a sideways look. Strawberry, kiwi, Capri Sun juice pouches. Mason is a fan of the strawberry kiwi flavored items and coffee. We have the Lake and Lodge dark roast for me and the Pete's house blend decaf dark roast for the other people in the house. And okay, can I just say this, you guys? Mason is 15 and he has been drinking more coffee lately. I've allowed him one coffee a month for the past year or so, and it's usually just a vehicle for the creamer. But he came down the other day and he said, Mom, can I have a cup of coffee? And he made himself a cup of coffee, which just <laughs> thrills me, amuses me to no end. And he likes the pumpkin spice coffee. So it's pumpkin spice coffee with the crap load of creamer and it's delicious for him. All right, uh, onto our produce. We got a bunch of bananas, some more Hobgoblin No Trick All Treat grapes. And look at this bag, you guys, it's ginormous. And um, I reach into the fridge probably 32,000 times a day and grab a couple of grapes to snack on, so that will go rather quickly. Uh, a cantaloupe, which has been a favorite for the past few weeks, and a couple of navel oranges. And I bought a couple last week and they were delicious. I love oranges. I don't like peeling them so much, but I love to eat them. And we have our romaine hearts, three pack, and a big ginormous bag of carrots. 
which I still go through like crazy. Brussels sprouts. And I think these are, it's probably a little more than a pound. I didn't weigh them, but these are on sale for $1.49 a pound, guys. It's a really good price. Um, two Roma tomatoes. And we just got these for sandwiches and salads this week. We don't need any more for salsa. Byron made a big thing of salsa this morning, and we are salsa'd. Uh, a red onion, because we always have one of these hanging around. And some red potatoes. All right. Moving on, here we have another can of pumpkin. I don't need it for anything specifically, but uh, tis the season, and I always like to have pumpkin in the cupboard. I've got a couple in there now. This will make three, so I can bake at whim anything pumpkin-y goodness, which uh, can happen quite often during this time. Yay! Some more quick oats. I am just about out. I use them. What did I use them for? Oh, granola. I made some granola the other day and I used almost my entire thing of quick oats. So I got some more of those. And some Quaker instant apples and cinnamon oatmeal. Mason loves these when he gets up in the morning with a little bit of milk and an ice cube to cool it down. And it's a nice breakfast. Uh, one can of solid white tuna in water. And only one can of beans this week because we still have some left. Moving over, ramen. Who likes ramen? This house likes ramen. I got four packages of ramen. And you guys, I have seen like a ton of different recipes you can do with Rob Robin. Who's Robin? What's Robin? Ramen. Um, like, you know, adding tomatoes or chicken or whatever. I've never tried that. It always just seems like too much work when you could just boil the water and, and cook this. But um, if you guys have tried like add-ins with ramen, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys are um, trying and liking with it. Um, all right, one Greek yogurt because I still have enough granola uh, left over for a couple of yogurts and I only had one in the fridge. A pack of American singles, American cheese. This is Byron's preferred cheese for cheesy eggs and sandwiches. Um, Oh, let's go back over to the cheese while we're being cheesy. Oh, oh. A little more shredded mozzarella. Byron's going to make meatball subs this week, and you just can't do that without the mozzarella. Coming over to some frozen items, we have, all right, let's move this, some crunchy fish fillets. And this is a great snack. I say snack. Sometimes it's like a lunch for Byron. He just throws a butt in, the buttload in there, and... Um, <laughs> Oh, I cracked myself up. And uh, he makes homemade tartar sauce, and um, he loves this. So good, good. Uh, Luigi's Blue Raspberry and Watermelon Ice Cups. And you may be thinking, um, why are you buying Luigi's Real Italian Ice in the middle of October? It is fall. Uh, it is because, A, is there any bad, any bad time for ice cream or ices? And uh, B, because it's 95 freaking degrees out, and it still feels like summer, and so we have ices. Uh, both of those are valid reasons, by the way, people, just in case you're wondering. All right, Tina and her burritos are back in town. Five bean and cheese burritos, some frozen veggies. We have some Brussels sprouts, and yes, I realize I also got fresh ones, but this is a Brussels sprouty family, and we like them. A package of super sweet corn. And this stuff is pretty good. I mean, it's, you know, no complaints. It's quick in the microwave and uh, all done. So, yum. Over here to our lean cuisine, I got one of my favorites, the chicken fettuccine. And then I found a couple of new ones, you guys, that looked really good. Sweet and sour chicken. Let's see. Blended white meat chicken with brown rice and vegetables and sweet and sour sauce. So that sounded pretty good to me. And then... Sesame stir fry with chicken, white meat chicken, pasta, broccoli, and yellow carrots in a spicy sesame sauce. So that sounded pretty good. I'm not really sure what a yellow carrot is, but spicy sesame sauce sounded delicious. So there's that. Moving over to the meats, we are scarce this week because I still had lots of stuff left over. So I just picked up one nice big thing of salmon, and you can see here it was on sale from... Uh, almost $35 all the way down to uh, almost $21. So not a bad price. And the last meat item is our lunch meat. And uh, the, the uh, deli guy only gave me half a pound at first. He just didn't hear what I said, I think. So then I had to go back and get another half a pound. So we have one full pound of sweet sliced ham. 
Um, I'm going to bring you up to the non-food items now since we have quite a few while I'm still over here. We got some Gain fabric softener. This stuff smells really good and it was on sale today in a decent price, so we picked that up. Um, and actually, the Arm & Hammer, you guys, this is what I typically use. I didn't really need it today, but it was on sale. Buy one, get one free. And that's a pretty decent deal. So I picked one up and there's my freebie back there. Buy one, get one free. Um, over here, we needed some more Band-Aids and I was super excited to find this. I know it's random. Um, but uh, the box with all the different sizes in it, I really like that because, you know, I mean, you always get cuts in weird places and then the size is wrong. I have a child coming to steal. Hang on. Hold up, hold up the candy child. <laughs> this is my child. This is Mason. He's got the sweet tart ropes. Hi. Mod Hello, modeling nicely. And um, all right, off to do his homework with thank some sustenance. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, baby. Um, we got some more tall kitchen trash bags for the kitchen because we seem to go through those like crazy. And um, I picked up some Hello Hydration Herbal Essences Shampoo. Now, I haven't used store shampoo in, gosh, in years. I typically buy it online and um, I'm just really low and I know that I'm going to need some more before the next order comes or before I can even actually order it again. So I picked this up. Um, I've been using the conditioner since I ran out of my other conditioner, which I really like. Um, I'm not going to lie. The coconut thing is my jam. So, you know, I had to do that. But it's, it says it's hair and body wash. I don't know. We're just going to be using it for hair. Um, so we'll see. I used, I used to use this brand years ago. So we'll see what it's doing now. But I re I'm really liking the conditioner. So, And then two bottles of coconut water and mango hydrating hand soap. Does that not sound delicious? <laughs> that sounds so good. So we have that. We will dial it in and use our cocoa, mango, water, cocoa, water, and mango hand soap. All right, continuing on our last non-food item. I will back it up. Oh, we got a mop. And we have a mop, but it's old and it's dirty and it's gross, and I just can't use it anymore because yuck. So I picked up a new mop. It was on sale. It was like six bucks off. So I thought, why not? Somebody's got them off the floor and it seems like it's gonna be me. Uh, we got some long grain white rice because we are running low. Oop, don't fall. The mop is trying to fall. The mop is slipping. All right, stay. All right, if you hear a boom, it's the mop. Um, we also picked up some bagel thins. I don't know who we is. I did. Some everything bagel thins. Another loaf of wheat bread. And a bag of hoagie rolls for our meatball subs, which Byron's going to make tonight, actually. And um, those are always delicious. A couple of snacky things. We got another bag of Kalidad uh, white tortilla chips. Byron just made a whole new thing of salsa this morning because we have so many peppers, you guys. I, I couldn't even make up stuff to do with them. There's just a lot. Um, some pistachios for snacking. And the Swedish fish for Byron. And uh, you just saw Mason make off with his sweet tart ropes. So, and that's it, you guys. Oh, and over here, one of the Halloween decorations that I didn't take off the counter because I didn't need the space. But, um... There we go. We got our boots. <laughs> uh, so that's it, you guys. That is everything this week. It's not as much as usual, but it will be a perfect amount for us this week. So there you have it. All right, guys, that's it for today. As you can see, everything has been put up and away, and I have a nice empty kitchen again, which is my favorite. <laughs> Thank you for stopping in and joining me and watching this grocery haul today. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe and hit the thumbs up button and also hit that notification bell so you know each and every time I upload and then you can decide to watch at that time. Uh, have a great day and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks so much guys. Bye.